Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell Podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by the one, the only Jake Champagne of Oxford Boys Basketball. Jake, how are you doing, bud? Oh, uh, I'm good. Thank you for having me on here. I'm glad to be on here. All right. So uh, coming off a um, uh, pretty successful basketball season, a, a lot of ups, a lot of downs, but uh, overall a pretty good year. Yeah, I mean, um, obviously we didn't get to our main like win championships, you know, but I think we got we definitely accomplished a lot. We got uh, I think we ended fourteen and eight, which isn't isn't bad. Um, first year head coach, I, I think we all learned a lot together, and it was just it was a pretty good year overall. I think. Yeah. What was like the biggest thing that you learned kind of adjusting to a new system, even though you guys all know each other, you guys, you know, obviously he was the JV coach. Um, but, but it's, it's, you know, it is different when you're at the varsity level, but the thing is he knows you guys, you know, him, what was it like just kind of getting used to one another again? I think it was just, we just all had to, we went, we had a trip up to uh, Mayo, Michigan. Yeah. And we all stayed the night up there and that was before the season. And we all worked out at this gym there. And I think we all built just some great trust and just team chemistry. We all just gelled up there. And I think that's really when we all just got used to it and figured it all out. We all got trust in each other after that. Well, here's the thing though. A lot of you guys play, you got the guys play basketball, also play football together and all, all that other stuff. But what's it like to go from sport to sport, together even though you guys know each other and you know what you know what each other's things are it's kind of just like i feel like you're just going into another thing like i don't it's it's kind of funny when you guys end the season and then just right off the bat you're already working out together on a different thing so i feel like that almost builds even more chemistry when you got me and drew both playing football together. So we're all grinding all through summer, all through all this, doing our sports. And then we come and we do it again, you know? So I think it really just helps the chemistry even more. Yeah. Um, so I know that you, you yourself have had self had a pretty good year as well. I mean, you know, um, uh, climbing up the, uh, I know the coaches have put together, make sure, you know, all the historical stats and all that stuff, but uh, you passed a lot of people on the, uh, on the scoring list. Um, I know, obviously, uh, you know, obviously you don't want to, you know, brag about yourself a lot, but what is it like to, to see yourself all the way out there? It's a good feeling because I guess it just shows just the work I put in. I feel like when you just look on the chart or that, you see my name second and I get a whole nother year. I feel like it just shows like the work that I've put in and it just makes you feel like good, you know? Yeah. So, you know, coming into this year, you know, I know you had a lot of, you know, you, I know you had a lot of goals that you had. Um, obviously some of those did not get accomplished, but, you know, to, to have the season that you did, um, how do you feel? And after, after your junior season as you, uh, you know, get ready for summer ball and and then get ready for another football season? I feel good. And like you just said, we're a lot of – I'm pretty sure a lot of us are getting into AU now. So I'm excited to see how that will play out when we all get back together in June. Having AU experience and – I know other guys play other sports, and I'm I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a good amount of people in AU and see that we all come gelled back together while playing better competition. See how that all works out in June when we have all the team camps. So I'm I'm already really excited for next season, and just uh, obviously set those goals high again and re- try to reach them. You know. Okay, so I don't think a lot of people actually know this, but you know I know that athletes during the summer there it's the it's some of the busiest days that you're going to have so what's like a typical summer look like for you like what is like what is on the dot because because you guys are doing stuff almost every day yeah so um 
we will for me i have i play football and basketball so i'll have we'll have football um like kind of workouts like camps yep yep and like we call them cat camps okay. and then we get in the i'll get in the gym and get shots up and then au we have practice mondays and wednesdays yeah and then uh tournaments from could range from we leave in thursday and we get home uh sunday night so that's really kind of what the summer is like for me yeah so how do you like handle that because that's like there's a lot of things you know a lot of things going on you you know there's all this other stuff and you know you don't really have a lot of time for yourself but what is uh how do you handle all that and just uh how do you make time or set some time away just to just to relax so for me personally i like to get everything done early so then i could have the rest of the day so i like how football workouts are they're all in the morning and then they'll end at 11 noon and then i'll be able to get in the gym around midday and then I'll have nothing the rest of the day. And, you know, it also gets through it easy for me is because I like to just have fun. You know, I think, it, I think it's all fun and it's supposed to be fun. So, you know, you're messing around, you're still locked in obviously, but you're messing around with your teammates, you're having fun. And then since it's all done, I get to come home and either rest or I get to just go hang out with buddies because I got nothing else to do. So. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's, uh, you know, let's go going into this, you know, you got the summer coming up and then, then you got, um, uh, and of course, uh, hard to believe, but this, um, this will be your senior season of football. Have you thought about that? Yeah. Um, we were all that morning lifting, uh, a couple of weeks back and they said like, yeah, you guys are the seniors now. And it kind of just hit me like, wow, that's crazy. I feel like I was just in sixth grade. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it, time really kind of flew, and now we're already in the senior season, so it's kind of crazy to me. Yeah. So I know that, obviously, the conference is uh, – you know who you have coming up, mm -hmm. and it's going to be – you know, you made the playoffs at four and five, you know, got in and after beating Jesuit that uh, week nine. Um, the league's just going to be as tough as it is every year in the OAA. Um what are these next few months going to be like as you get ready for a football season while getting ready for uh, AAU? So really my main focus is gaining weight and gaining strength because I feel like if I'm a 185 receiver, that's going to give me a lot of advantages, you know? So for me, I'm really focusing on that. For the team, I'm, we're all focusing on also getting stronger getting quicker, just improving all like the physical stuff. And then we're also Wednesday mornings, we all go in and we do um, something called football school and we all prep our minds kind of, we talk about just being competitive, um, being a team turnover ratio is what the last week's was. So um, it, we all just are prepping physically, but also mentally. Absolutely. Okay, best moment from this basket, past basketball. I'd say probably my uh, buzzer beater um, against Berkeley. That's, I think that was that was probably the best moment for sure. Yeah, that's uh, that, that that's got to be up there, man. It's got to be. Yeah. Up there. yeah. All right. Well, uh, Jake Champagne, always good, always good to talk to you. Um, uh, we'll talk soon, and uh, maybe we'll have you on before football season begins. All right. Sounds good. Thank you for having me.